Hey folks, it's a Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday morning, thereabouts. I'm out exploring the Hood Canal today. As you can see from the intro footage, we've got a pretty good hillside location here today. I'm going to take you out and explore some of the western side of the Hood Canal, see if we can find a waterfall or two, and maybe even pick up some lunch somewhere. Anyway, stay tuned. Let's get some adventure going. I took a stop here along the Purdy Cut and you can hear some of the ravens up there in the trees screaming but this particular spot has a beautiful Van Gogh like water point and I just want to show it to you so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. It's just a beautiful beautiful view. And this is, like I said, along the Purdy Cut. So you can see that the waterfront has quite a bit of beauty to it. And there's clouds in the sky, of course. But if you look closely, you can see all sorts of things in the water and in the grass. So it's really rather nice. We're currently headed north on the 101 and let me just take a quick shot here. I just want to show you what we're looking at. We're going to stop at Potlatch State Park which is on the southern end of the Hood Canal here and we'll just take a peek around and then from there we'll head north grab some chicken fingers at the IGA and Hood Sport and continue north exploring looking for waterfalls. Potlatch Park is a small camping park on Highway 101 but it has a beautiful beachside area and you can see here that they've got signage up to tell you how to use the park. And it's got uh, picnic tables and seagulls, hungry seagulls that will talk to you, crows that will bother you till the end of the day, and then if you look up here, you've got a magnificent view up the Hood Canal. You can see the mountains up there. It's pretty incredible. So with that in mind, we're just going to head on north and see what else we can find. Our goal for today is to at least find a waterfall. And we may end up going to a place called Rocky Brook Falls, which is pretty spectacular. Anyway, that's it for this stop. Let's take one more quick peek up the waterfront here and see what's going on. All right, talk to you in a few. Well, folks, we're here at stop number two, which is the Lilywap Tidelands. And as you'll see here in a second, the tide is coming in and it's quite nice. It's got a really beautiful view. And hopefully this little video camera can capture the perfect sun showing over the water and the depth of dynamic range that the water has against the mountains and everything like that. So anyway, let me turn this guy around and give you guys a good look.
and we're going to take a walk down the stairs here and see if we can get something going on on the tidelands itself I want to take another image so we can do some processing later on as you can see it's got a fairly nice shoreline with the low tide going this is a really good spot to take pictures early in the morning and late in the afternoon but today we're here at midday and I'm hopeful that we'll be able to capture this view here of the water going into the inlet and coming back out with the shoreline down below we've also got some mountains in the background there you can see the snow possibly up on the hills it's pretty nice and then once again like I say you've got this waterfront which is spectacular with the hood canal going south and then further up all the way to the edge so I'm going to take some pictures let's take a look here and see what we can get going on I'm going to take this view right here and see whether or not we can make it work. Talk to you later. So we're a little bit off the beaten path here. I hopped up on Forest Road number 25 and decided to see if the mountains were visible. And as you can see, we've got a pretty nice view of the mountains over there. The clouds are streaming through and we've still got some good views though, all around here. So I figure I'm going to stop and see if I can get a landscape and go from there so bear with me let's take a walk over here we're gonna walk up on this hill and see if we can get a better vantage point with the camera the snow's a little bit deep further up the road They've got about a foot of snow up there, but if you look here, you have really got a nice view of those mountains. So I think I'm going to take a shot at that and see if I can get that. Anyway, this is uh, Forest Road 25, and those are the Olympic Mountains in the spring. As you can see here we were able to get to a nice viewpoint and this scene I believe will pop out to a very nice image on the camera so this is stop number three like I said it is the Eldon cut and hope you enjoy it For our final stop of the day, and this trip in general, we're going to hike up a bit to a place called Rocky Brook Falls. This is the stream that's flowing down from the falls, and it should be kind of fun to take a walk up there and see what the falls have to offer us. 
So, let's get going. Rocky Brook Falls is in the Dos Wallops or Dosi Wallops area. It's just north of Hama Hama, about five or so miles. And you can get to Rocky Brook Falls by taking the Dosi Wallops Road. It's about three miles in from the highway. And as you can see here, the path going up to the falls is pretty well laid out and even. I think just about anyone can get up this path without too much trouble. And as you can see, there's a pretty nice fall today. It might even be nice to bring back the camera just in case. See if we can get some long exposures of the water going over the rocks. But anyway, as we head up this path, we will soon see the falls themselves. As you can see here, it's pretty darn nice in this area. It's a beautiful path. And today just happens to be a very nice clear day. So we may end up getting a good view of the falls. As you can imagine, this is an excellent location for taking images. And once we get to the fall, you'll see that it really is a fun spot to take a look at. They have an intake here that you can see. When the water gets high enough, the intake opens up and they generate electricity. They've got a whirlpool down there and it has a turbine in it and it generates electricity, which is kind of neat. So here we come around the bend. You may be able to see it already. This is Rocky Brook Falls. And we've got some pretty good flow today. Let's see how far out here we can get. As you can see here, the fall itself is quite significant in height. And just a beautiful, beautiful view from here, right at the base of the fall. And if we look around, we can see just about everything in the area. Beautiful blue skies today. Just about gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here with a nice waterfall. And we will catch up with you guys later on with another adventure. Till then, safe travels.